in last lecture we have covered about the milk formation factors governing the milk formations hormones responsible for the milk formation as well as the composition of milk of different species in the last lecture we have discussed all the things and as i told you that in the third lecture we'll discuss about the techniques that are used in the milk industry like sterilization pasteurization homogenization all these things will be discussed today okay before moving to the <coughs> courses just let i i want to make some uh, just uh, announcement see already we have launched four courses regarding the afo okay although we have the courses for rb so navad a or grade a examination fci examinations all the, all the courses we, uh, we have launched it but i am talking about especially about the afo examinations which is conducted by bps okay you all know that rb application form has already been filled fci already filled now it's time for afo because by the end of october the notification of the ips afo will also come okay and the uh, as the tentative date is of the examination is already given which is in, in december they are going to conduct the prelims exam and in january they are going to conduct mains examinations okay but uh, we have made some changes in the our uh, this courses in fee structure of the courses as you know that uh, the present scenario of our country is not that much good always um, nearly all the peoples are uh, going through some economical crisis so seeing in all these things because many students have told uh, regarding their pro uh, economic problems okay so we have decided to reduce the cost of our all the four courses okay we have four different courses for a4 okay first our course is regarding the pre recorded lecture okay in pre recorded lecture what we get see this is a, in pre recorded lecture video lecture you now you have you are you are going you are watching our video on youtube regarding the milk formation or yeah, the topic milk in in which we are covering entire things or entire concepts that are related to the milk in the same manner every topic that is that comes under the syllabus of afo examinations had been pre recorded okay see the you know the we have agriculture degree is of four year course and that four year syllabus has to be covered within 3 to 4 months okay keeping in all the things even we are keeping in mind the syllabus of the afo examinations all these things we have made a, a summarized video of all the topics that are covered under this afo examination syllabus okay so that um, video, that is pre recorded lectures okay in that even agriculture allied agriculture current affairs everything is covered but in in see in this course what happens in pre recorded video lectures we are covering covering all subject videos are covered in that there will be or every week new videos will be added after that you, you will have free interview guidance video also okay after that if you have any doubt you can whatsapp us or you can uh, just call us or so that we can make a you know, make a video regarding your doubt session at the end of every week okay now this course previously it was of 2000 rupees but now we have given 23% off in this and now this you can available this course at the rate of 5 rupees only okay this is this was regarding the video like only video lecture second course is our regarding the complete package in this you will get complete pre recorded classes weekly doubt sections also and detailed pdf notes you will get so that is subject wise and at, before the one month of the examination you will get the summary sheets of all subjects for quick revision you will have subject wise quiz in each topic okay and 30 full length mock test okay initially this this price uh, the course price was 2800 but now it is of 2100 just you have to use the code a425 and you will get the discount and this course will be available for you in 2100 only this is the two course and third our third course is regarding the pdf notes in third course you will get about detailed pdf for online study okay some receipts for quick revision again you will get interview guidelines previous year paper that also video analysis okay and that course is available at 50% off means you will get that course in only 399 okay and fourth our course is that is that will cover the pdf notes plus test series 
and also you will get some receipts plus 30 full uh, length mock tests okay free interview guidance study material uh, previous year paper video analysis everything you will get and that course will be uh, we are giving you also in 50 percent of that is 1499 rupees okay now according to your need you can available you can take any of the other courses that suits your need or or your requirement okay so now let's start our lecture <clears throat> now in this lecture we are going to discuss about the different techniques that are used in the milk industry okay see first of all we are going to talk about the milk see when milk after the milking now after the milking there is a processing or you can call it as a uh, milk has been received by, uh, in the market now there has to be the milk processing okay you know india is one of uh, india in the india is having good production or of the milk as well as the milk production but in, in spite of the high production of the milk and milk product if there is a high production then there is a, a spoilage also at a larger stage okay now to protect the milk or milk product from the spoilage these some their different techniques are used by the milk industry okay we are going to discuss about that only first of all when the milk is brought into the market means we are going to receive the milk okay in the market milk is received first there is unloading means milk cans are taken into the platform after that unloading there is grading in grading what grading refers to the classification of milk on the basis of their quality so that price fixation can be done after the uh, grading is done there is sampling means the sample of the milk is taken uh, for their uh, chemical or bacteriological analysis after that the weighting of the milk is done and after making a testing of the milk is done for maintaining the quality of the milk after that next stage there is preheating means the milk is heated at a temperature 35 to 40 degrees celsius okay in that there is a filtration clarification in what happens in filtration means suspended foreign particles are removed by the staining while in clarification the suspended foreign materials are removed by the centrifuge centrifuge sedimentation okay after that there is cooling cooling is done to just prevent the deterioration in its bacteriological quality okay after that again we have to do preheating at temperature near about 60 and 60 degrees celsius and after that we do pasteurization what is pasteurization this is used in the mar uh, milk market in which there is a heating of every particles of the milk like fat protein lactose all this at near about 63 degrees celsius for 30 minutes or 72 degrees celsius for 15 seconds okay now why this pasteurization engine this is done to uh, uh, maintain the quality of the milk or, or also for the destruction of the pathogenic microorganism that is present in the milk okay after that there is dis disadvantage also of the pasteurization like uh, um, this cream volume of the milk is reduced okay nutritive value of the milk is reduced all these are the disadvantages and the different techniques means different methods of the pasteurization are like ltst means low temperature long time or batch pasteurization it is done at the temperature 60 degrees 63 degrees celsius for 30 minutes after that stst means high temperature short time this is done at 72 degrees celsius for 15 seconds uth means high ultra high temperature pasteurization this is done at 130 to 135 degrees celsius for one to six seconds again there is a sterilization that is done at 115 degrees celsius for 15 minutes this is you can see it pasteurized milk okay after that homogenization see homogenization in, is a simple process in which the fat globules of the milk are broken down into a smaller size so that uh, it cannot form the creamy layer over the milk surface okay and this homogenizer is a machine that is used uh, to disintegrate the fat globules okay and this temperature used is 65 degrees celsius you can define the homogenization in other language also means you can see this is a mechanical treatment in which the fat globules are broken down into a, uh, of this uh, of size two micrometer or less than it uh, and informally dispersed in the milk it's generally homogenization that is used in the dairy industry is to prevent the delay of the formation of creamy layer okay by reducing the diameter of that fat globules okay after 
the homogenization that fat globule size is less than 2 micrometer. After that, average size of milk fat globules in milk, you also know it's a 2 to 12 micrometer. Okay, this question was asked in this recent 2021 that AFO examinations about the homogenization. Okay, see the diagram showing how milk is homogenized. Now, next topic is milk sterilization. What happens in sterilization? The term sterilization, this is association with the milk means in the uh, milk is heated in a sealed container continuously to a temperature of 115 degrees Celsius to 120 degrees Celsius for near about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. Then they are packed in aseptic condition means germ-free condition. Okay. So that this can milk can be preserved at the room temperature for not less than 15 days from the date of manufacture. And in this also there is UHT means ultra high temperature in which milk is heated at 135 to 150 degrees Celsius in a plate or tubular heat exchanger. After that milk is extracted, this is filled into a sealed, in, this is also in germ free condition so that this can be, milk can be stored for the period of at least six months. Okay, see the sterilized milk. After that, this is the flow chart of the sterilized now, standardization. Standardization means what? Means the milk constituent, suppose it is fat or means some, some, some milk have greater uh, quantity of fat. Then we have to reduce the fat quantity to a nominated level, to a standard level. Right? That means adjustment of one or more milk constituent to a nominated level. Okay. In milk industry, generally, this involves the reducing the butter fat content in by in, in how we reduce the butter fat content, but just by adding the skim milk or just removing the cream. See, this is the flow chart diagram of standardization. After that, it's back to fuse. This is a just a special nozzle clarifying separator, um, which is used for the removing of microorganism from the milk, which is uh, milk based on their density difference. Back to fugation. This was asked in the Nainital Bank 2019. In the, it is the process in which microorganisms are removed from the milk by the using of centrifugal force. But this in uh, back to fugation, mainly which microorganism is removed, which are spore formers. Okay. After that, what is objective? Its objective to obtain hygienic quality of milk, to avoid heat resistance bacteria, okay, to maintain the purity of milk. After that, regarding filtration and clarification, we have stopped in the starting of the lecture. Filtration means what? Means to remove the visible sediment or foreign material from the milk. And after that, in clarification, what happens? This is more efficient than filtration for removing the dirt and foreign material from the milk by using the centrifugal force, okay. This clarification removes leukocytes or other tissue or other large cells or fine dust that is present in the milk. Main objective is to improve its appearance and that's so that its markability can be improved. Now it's fortification in this um, fat soluble vitamins like vitamin A or D is added to the whole milk, okay. Uh, it is generally added to the fat, uh, low fat content milk or non-fat non milk eh, to increase its viscosity and appearance. What is viscosity? Already we have discussed in the last lecture. Now, it's, uh, quality control test for milk. What is quality control test? I mean, the different tests are used for different purpose. Like Hansa test is done to, for which, in that, to test whether mixing of cow milk in buffalo milk. Organoleptic test is done, done to test, uh, know the color, flavor, taste of the milk. And, Clot on boiling test is done to see the heat stability of milk. See, regarding these two course also we have discussed at the beginning of the lecture, one, one course is of regarding the PDF notes in which we will have detailed PDF for online study, some receipts for quick revision, free interview guidelines with the study material, previous year papers, video analysis and you can download also. Okay, after that there is one PDF plus test series in which you will have PDF for online study, some receipts, 30 full mock test is completely based on the FO pattern. Okay, interview guidelines, study material. Okay, so now in the next lecture, we are going to st uh, study about the, the milk and their milk product. Okay, thank you. See you in the next lecture.